Hello, Assalamualaikum. My name is Muhammad Syahmi Imran, Muhammad Syahizal. My matrix number is 2022-892762. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Shifa Binti Mashukri. I'm from KSC 1101G. My matrix number is 2022-665644. Okay, hi. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nabila Husna Binti Shamsa Adal Saleh and my matrix number is 20224-7502. Hi, my name is Nurim Hansipah Binti Ahmad Adilin. My matrix number is 2022-879-084. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nurul Shimi Binti Hilmi. Matrix number 2022-825308. Gardenia Foods is also known as Gardenia Bakeries or Gardenia was established in 1978 by Horatio Sky Snokum Wongzi Fats in Singapore. Gardenia is a Singaporean bread company who, provi- who provided the bread to the other countries such as Malaysia, Indonesia, Brunei and Philippines. He started the business in 1969 with 35 years of bakery business experience from a leading American bakery chain that was sent by the International Executive Service Corporation IESC to Malaysia to start a bakery. Gardenia is Sotus Asia leading bread manufacturer. Gardenia operates bakeries in Indonesia and produces a wide range of breads. Gardenia operations outside of Singapore is managed by subsidiary companies like Gardenia Bakeries Senior Berhad in Malaysia. However, since 1 September 2022, the price increased from Turinjit Inflation has been caused by the COVID-19 pandemic during 2020. The ingredient costs will be higher by the end of the month in 2021 for items including high protein, flour, egg white powder, whole wheat flour, gluten, steam milk, packaging supplies and many more. Raising the price of its breads due to rising production costs will result in sharp increases in the price of transportation and raw materials. The overall price increase will also influence by the rise in freight costs over the previous few years. To take care of its quality, the manufacturer need to have it in a short time until it expiratory date to make sure that the bread is free from yeast infection and also the texture bread is changing. They always serving the, cut the best to the customer and fulfill their customer needs. Gardenia's white bread operate in market controller environment that enable demand curve manipulation. The firm will price it so the customer will purchase white bread from other brands since the consumer are less responsive to price and more sensitive to price which mean more elastic. Demand is the quantity of good or service that consumer want to buy. Gardenia demand is inelastic because it fluctuates less in quantity. Buyers and sellers is where the purchase and sell happen in the market. Market equilibrium is a condition where the quantity demand and quantity supply of gardenia spray are equal. Then, there is no tendency for price and quantity to change when the stability point or the market equilibrium is achieved. It is a situation where buyers are willing to buy and sell goods and services in the market. A shortage occurs when the quantity demand is more than the quantity supply. One of the causes of shortage is the cheap price, where the price is situated below the equilibrium price. As a result, it makes the customer want to buy a large amount.
from that thing to shoot thing to shoot thing. For instance, COVID-19 pandemic is one of the significant that influence on birds demand and supply, which is during movement control order that used to happen during 2020, proof that there is always happen a shortage when the gardenia spread is always out of stock because there was an increase in quantity demand. Even though the customer is facing difficulties due to increasing the demand dramatically, that did them to panic buy, the seller also will increase the supply since the demanding is increasing while increasing the price per shortage occur when the quantity demand is more than the quantity supply. From the figure above, it shows that increase in demand is proportional to the increase in supply. This is because both demand and supply curve will shift proportionately rightwards due to demand for gardenia increase in all consumers' preferences, while supply for gardenia also increase due to reduction in cost of production for gardenia. This causes the equilibrium quantity increase, meanwhile the, quant the equilibrium price is unchanged. The equilibrium quantity rises from quantity 1 to quantity 2, while the equilibrium price remains the same at the price 1. And also, the from the figure above, it shows that it, this is the proof of significance that influence on birds demand and supply, where the supply is increased during the MCO phase 3 more than MCO phase 1. This shows that bird have been stocking up higher from 53% during the phase 1 to 57% during the phase 3. Microeconomics is a branch of economics which studies the behavior and decision of individual entities such as household, firm and market. Microeconomics studies the way in which individual market work, the detail way in which regulation and tax affect the allocation of labor and goods and service. It is also deal with individual and specific unit of economics. Society face lack of resources and need to make choice to meet their desire. So they must use the resources wisely without wasting. Example of microeconomics are the price of the bread, the income of labor, and what the production of the firm or industry. There are three basic economic concepts, which is scarcity, choices, and opportunity cost. Lack of resources, but people have unlimited ones, and the resources is not enough to satisfy people in goods and service. Because of limited goods and service, people with unlimited ones cannot be fully satisfied. This situation can call as scarcity. For instance, during MCO, many people want to buy gardenia bread to make it as a breakfast. But gardenia only produce 2 million bread in one production and there's not enough for other people to buy. Therefore, there is one concept which is choice. When gardenia bread is insufficient, other people need to make choice to fulfill their wants which is they need to have something else for breakfast or buy other brand of bread. Choice involves a rational decision after considering the available alternative that can meet their wants. Individual and society make choice to maximize their satisfaction while Gardenia make the best choice to maximize their profit. Government, on the other hand, make choice to maximize social welfare in the country that they govern. The last one is opportunity cost. It is defined as the goods that need to foregone that and given up to make the best choice. For example, they decide to purchase biscuit or another brand of bread such as Massimo because they want to feel full and have bread as the breakfast they need to let go of the biscuit. The opportunity cost of buying Massimo 
more bread is biscuits. This economic concept can be depicted through a PPC. This curve is a combination of two goods which can be produced with existing resources and the current level of technology. Okay, hello. For the price factor, when the price changes, the quantity demanded will also change and this can cause the movement along the graph. When the price increase but other factors remain constant, it will make the quantity demanded decrease. This situation can be displayed at, uh, on the diagram. So we can see that from PO, the original price is increased to P1. So quantity original QO decrease become Q1. So this, show, this shows that when the price increases, the quantity demanded will decreases. Let's take a look at non-price factors. So the first one is consumer's preferences. So consumer get influenced by the types of advertising or information that can attract the consumer. So consumer, so consumer have the right to choose the best one that they or the goods that can attract their attention more. Example like the change in trends, season and routine. Demand will change when there is changes in taste will lead to an increase in demand and will shift the demand curve to the right. So as you can see, in my left you can see the diagram which is so show that the demand shift to the demand curve to the right. So demand curve shift to the right. So for instance for when people stay at home because of movement control order MCO, there is so many new recipe to be created like ice cream goreng. The ice cream goreng use bread because of many people will buy gardenia bread to try the recipe and the demand will increase. The demand for bread will also increase. So let's take a look at the second one for non-price factor which is population of potential buyers higher number of buyers will increase in demand causing demand curve shift to the right if the size of the market is small thus number of buyers are small and will make the demand curve shift to the left the demand can be influenced by different type of population in market such as age in term of gardenia the quantity of demanded will in will decrease because when government decide to do mco got dismissed from work because employer cannot pay the employee and will increase the amount of un unemployment and the population of potential buyers decrease and can cause quantity demand decrease so as you can see in my right you can see the diagram of the population of potential buyers that show that the demand shift to the left and it also uh, affect that the amount of unemployment is also increased and the population of potential buyers decrease and can cause the quantity demanded decrease. So, this is the effect the quantity demanded. So, it will shift to the left. So, let's talk about the third one for the non-price factors. So, yes, it is the changes in the price of substitute goods. So, goods that serve have the same use such as coffee, skirt, pants and also like tea. So. If the price of skirt are increased, the price of pants are constant, thus the demand of pants will increase. So you can see it's kind of the related between each other, right? So let's continue for the other example. So this show the both product are positively related. For example, when the price of the Massimo bread increase, the demand for the gardenia bread will also increase. So you can see the related between each goods. Maybe the price will increase, so the demand for other goods will also increase. So as you can see in my left of my presentation, you can see the diagram. So let's take a look in that diagram. So it's shown that the demand for Massimo bread increase, so the, the price of the Guardian bread will increase also. So this is both things or both goods that are related between each other, between the demands and between the price of the goods. So I will present about supply. So what is supply? Supply is the ability and willingness of supplier to supply 
the different goods and service in different price, uh, time range, and other things. But other things remain constant. My first one is price itself, price of Karina. When price changes, there will be a movement along the same supply curve. But this action will not shift the supply curve to the left or to the right. If the shift will, the curve will remain constant. And these factors will be will have positive relationship between price and price and quantity. When price increase, the quantity will quantity of supply will increase too. So this can be shown in the supply curve. If the price increase from P0 to P2, the quantity also will increase from Q0 to Q2. And if the price is decreased from P0 to P1, the quantity also will increase will decrease from Q0 to Q1. So the second factor is and price factors. One of the factors is uh, cost of production. When the cost of production increase, the profit of suppliers will be decreased, and this action can cause the suppliers decrease their supply of goods in order to maximizing the profits. Okay. So. For instance, the Gardena workers are decreased, so uh, Gardena will increase their supply to uh, to get the highest profit for them. This situation can be shown in the figure above, uh, but the figure above has a little mistake because it should uh, the the curve shift from Q1 to Q0 but it's supposed to be from Q0 to Q1 it is because when the cost of production are decreased the quantity are increased from Q0 to Q1 so the second factor in non price factors is level of technology we all know if a company have the higher technology they will uh, produce more product and they will get more profits okay however if the company have a lower uh, technology it will be difficult for them to produce more product and to get more profit so I am sure for instance uh, the Gardenia is a big company and I, I am sure that they have the higher technology so they can produce more product and get more they can produce more product and get more profit okay so this action will make the supply curve shift to the right the quantity will be increased because of the higher technology so for the effect of COVID-19 towards the brand of the Gardenia, um, when the COVID-19 is spread in the early stages, the government has imposed MCO movement control order to protect the nation and the netizen. This is because um, the virus is very infectious and can cause death. Uh, as a result of the quarantine, the daily business are the most affected one because people couldn't buy their product so some of them had to limit their, their stocks and reduce their production because not all people can buy so they cannot make sales so their sales are falling but for the Gardenia brand they had they they had released a statement that they will not reduce the production as um, their product has been an uh, has been a hard item because it's affordable and can fill your stomach also can make you full because the effect of the COVID-19 is not uh, most of people cannot go to work all of them 
only frontliners. All of them, most of them cannot go to work, and some of them has lose their job. This cause they cannot make income and to make end meets to their to provide food for their family. So with the money left, they had to they had to make a wise choice to buy foods. So uh, bread is one of the the best choice because it's affordable. This is cheap and also can make you food. Uh, that's for that's the effect for the early stages. Um, for the gardenia, the gardenia has produ- pro- uh, gardenia has really statement to produce to the maximum production level to sat- satisfy the customers need. So for the effect after two years, after two years of COVID nineteen, uh, the gardenia has introduce a new prices they had to increase the prices because the prices of raw materials to produce the bags has also increased such as um protein flour by 25 percent uh, white pot, white powder more than 100 percent wholemeal flour gluten skim milk, and also bread improver this caused the company to introduce the prices the new prices the increased prices uh, some some bread has uh, some bags with new prices is Gardenia Original Classic I am 3 ringgit per loaf Gardenia Whole Meal I am 4 ringgit per loaf Gardenia Toast um, uh, Range I am 500, uh, 5 ringgit 50 cent per loaf and also Gardenia Twiggies I am 2 ringgit per packet uh, Even though the price has increased the demand for the bread is still maintained and even is still increased people will still buy even though the price is increased that's the effect on the uh, the gardenia brand because of COVID nineteen. Thank you. So we are at the end of our presentation. So let's talk about the conclusion for our presentation. So to sum up, gardenia has been acclaimed by all Malaysian community today. Gardenia is monopolistic market structure because there are many companies that produce similar products to the customers such as Massimo and many other brands. In addition, Gardenia's lowest price in the market is the reason why everyone chooses this brand because its quality. The quality and the price are the suitable things that Gardenia keep it. Furthermore, Gardenia has a lot of regular customers because they really believe in it and they love the taste that Gardenia has produced. Gardenia also wise in thinking about their customer wants and needs. They had organized and better strategy than their competitor such as Massimo and the other brands. They know how to use surprise strategies to keep the demands of the products always increase and can make profits in the future. Although Gardenia is a renowned and well-known brand, they also have experienced losers, falls and wakes in the business before they succeed like today. So basically they learn from their mistake so they can become a successful brand in the future.